Hey guys, Elfet here. Happy Friday the 13th. Some of you may find this day to be an unlucky day, or you might be afraid somebody may chase you with a hockey mask and a chainsaw. For most, you're probably just happy it's Friday, right? Yeah. Wanted to do a quick video on screen printing. Um, you guys have seen, you know, Puff Paint. You guys know what it is. If you know me, if you've been following on Facebook or the RPF or Instagram, you know that I've been doing it for a couple years now on prints like this for Spider-Man. It's a really good way to achieve that nice 3D webbing effect. Um, when you apply heat to this, it puffs up even more and goes into a matte finish. Now, I don't usually do that unless I want that, but for Spider-Man, you usually want that little gloss to it. But let me show you guys something really cool that we were able to do with screen printing and I think I showed you guys in a video before wanted to do a full video for this so this is uh, the emblem for the back and as you can see it has a little bit of dimension to it right so this is obviously not puff paint because you can see it's not you know all messy and stuff it's not silicone which I've done as well this was all done in high density inks through an oven to get that puff, that nice dimension effect with a template of course so that it's not you know messy this is not freehand it's done with a template then you run the inks through it and then you put it through an oven and you get this nice little finish at the end you can make this matte so you can see this has a little bit of gloss but you can also make it matte like what you see in the front this is also uh, done the same way it has to be done before I apply the pop paint because otherwise this will puff up and go into a different color like I explained before but look at how cool this is you know this is something that us like spider-man freaks have been doing all sorts of different ways in the past getting different results and this is just another way a new way uh, to do it and I think this is closer to what they did in the movie as well so it's nice and resilient it stretches with the fabric it's not gonna come off. Let me show you guys on this. It's not gonna come off at all. And it has some nice stretch to it. You don't have to glue this or anything like that. So, uh, one of the most frequently asked questions that I get for Deadpool is actually, what fabric do you use? What kind of fabric do you use? Well, it's not something that you can just go to the store, to Joann's and buy or go down to uh, your fashion district and find this fabric. So you can see, the fabric itself is not anything too difficult to find. It's the screen printing that takes it to another level. So screen printing, we had to find out a lot about that. We had to really do a lot of tests before we got it right. You see, this is like one of the tests that we made. It's a little bit more matte. But once we were able to get to that nice uh, finish closer to the movie, what you see in our costumes, you get that nice leathery look without it being leather and you still get some flexibility and stretch to it so it's a really really nice way to get a costume that works both for functionality and the look a lot of people were thinking this was leather at first but it's not what we did was since you see a lot of superhero costumes have the same kind of finish these days we did other types of types of fabric with other types of colors, other types of finishes. So you can see this is a thinner fabric, thinner spandex fabric, four-way stretch. Uh, we did this for a tracer test for that character from Overwatch Tracer. So we're still working on that, but you can see it's the same, same template, different color, different finish. Now this you might recognize. Uh, again, same brick pattern, but this is something that we did as a test possibly to create a homecoming spider-man homecoming we still haven't done uh, the full costume yet but this was a very promising test that we made and i have a friend uh you guys know i'm mclean who's currently working on something really cool for that costume with this with these fabrics that i provided to him so this is the pattern that we use on the gloves. This is a different pattern, uh, again, for Tracer, but we actually made a really cool Spider-Man mask with this. It came out pretty incredible. 
again, different fabric, different finish, different template, but all done through screen printing. All high density stuff. Feels really rubbery. It's really nice to the touch and very superhero-y. You could do like, you know, some halo um, undersuits with this. You could do all sorts of different things. Here's the same, same template, different fabric, different color, different finish. Cool. So just a quick little video to show you guys what we do with screen printing. If you need any more info, hit me up at lfetprojects uh, at gmail.com. You can do el.fet.projects at gmail.com. Or uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, shoot me a message. I'll try to get back to you as fast as possible. And yeah, if you have any questions, if you have any need for fabrics like this that we can do for you, let me know. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.